Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing my very first Shein try-on haul. So I've never done a Shein try-on haul on my channel and Shein had reached out to me. That's hard to say, Shein, like multiple times. A lot of people call it Shein as well. I've always called it Shein. They reached out to me and asked if I wanted to partner up for this video, so I do wanna thank them for partnering with me on today's video. And I did make sure that it was okay if I shared all my honest opinions and all of that. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in today's video. All my honest thoughts on these items, I think I got like 15 pieces, so it's gonna be a big haul. I'm gonna do it a little bit different than I normally do. I'm just gonna kind of do like a stand up try on with a voiceover, I think is what I'm gonna do. So hopefully you guys enjoy it, find some good pieces you're excited to pick up. And as always, the links will be down in the description bar. There are like two or three items, like old basics that I used to pair with some of the Shein items in today's video. So I'll just link similar things to those items down below. But like I said, I just use them as basics to pair with the items in today's haul. So. Along with that, all of my sizing will be down below for reference as well. If you're new here, by the way, my name is Riley Jade. I do a ton of try-on hauls, a little bit of like day in the life vlogs, mama too type of stuff. If you guys don't already follow me over on Instagram, that's where I share like all my real life stuff, including how I got this situation here on my face. Yeah, if you follow me over there, then you know what the situation is with uh, this thing on my face and hopefully it does not leave a scar, but I may save it to a highlight on my feed and just call it like mom life. But anyway, if you are new here, make sure to subscribe before you leave. Comment down below, let me know what your favorite piece is from today's haul. And let's get right into the haul. First up, I have these adorable pleated pants. These are so comfortable. I got them in my true size extra small. They fit almost perfectly. They are a little bit loose in the waist, but I think it's perfect if I wanted to tuck in a little sweater or something. They're super flattering, so comfortable, and I absolutely love the color. They do have a zip on the side as well to make them really easy to get into. I think these would be great for work or for casual wear, super cute. Next up, I have this adorable top. I know colored tops are very trendy right now. This one is super lightweight, easy to tuck in, easy to style, and I just love the casual vibe that it has. And I also love how low it buttons down, so you can unbutton it and kind of layer up on jewelry, or you can button it up if you want to show a little bit less. But yeah, very cute. Like I said, I love how it tucks in as well. It's a great weight. This sweater is so unique. I don't own anything like this, and I was so pleasantly surprised at how soft and warm this was. It's super comfy. I love it front tucked into some jeans, but you could also, again, dress this up for work. I just love the pattern on it. I know that's a trendy pattern with the checkered style and the colors I think just go so well together. Next up, I have a basic, but it's like a not so basic basic. I love the texture on this. It just adds so much. It elevates the look a lot and it's super stretchy and comfortable. Again, a great top to tuck in, dress up, dress down, a good basic to have. I love the little mock neck. I think it looks so cute and retro layered up with some gold jewelry and I will definitely be wearing this a lot. I can see this with so many different outfits. This sweater is another great way to try out the collared trend. I feel like this is a little bit more subtle. It almost just looks like a v-neck sweater, but it does have that collar and I really love this. I think it's super cute. It's got a rib texture on it, which I think makes it look a little more expensive. This one isn't as soft as the other one, but it's still soft and comfortable and I didn't feel like I needed a long sleeve underneath of it. And this sweater, speaking of soft, this is heavenly. It's super soft, stretchy, kind of like a gooey material, but it's still thick and sweater-like. I love the rib material and the bat wing sleeve, and obviously this color is just everything. I did roll my sleeves and kind of scrunch them up a little bit, but I feel like there's a lot of different ways to wear this sweater. I also have mine bra tucked, so you can untuck it and just do a front tuck instead, which I'll show you in just a second, but I just love this. I think the quality is really great, and I love this color. Color transitioning into fall because you still get that bright fun color while you have a tan from summer and it's super flattering but you get that cozy vibe for fall as well this top here I think would be perfect for like a date night or something like that it's so pretty this color is just stunning it's like a cross between a silver green kind of sage color I think it's so beautiful I love the off the shoulder and this was a really great top to tuck in as well another one that I feel like you could wear to work too um, if you can wear off the shoulder, but these boots you'll see in my next outfit and a couple after that These are so comfortable and just such a great staple for fall. They look higher than they feel like I said They're super comfy and I love the subtle pointed toe 
These pants I'm anticipating being a fan fave. I had posted these on Instagram and TikTok and people kind of went crazy over them. So I'm excited to share them with you because they're so comfortable. I got them in my true size extra small. They are a bit big in my waist, but I honestly might just have the waist taken in or I'll throw a belt on them because the rest of them just fit me perfectly. When I say these are comfortable, they're as comfortable as yoga pants. I loved them with that tank I just showed you and I threw on this jacket, which I absolutely love. The jacket is a bit itchy with a tank top so I will probably wear mine with a long sleeve but other than that I love the colors in it and I love the weight it's just perfect so this next set comes with the button up in the shorts the white tank is just a basic that I had so I'll link something similar from she and below but this set is so good it was a little bit stiff until I steamed it and it seemed to really relax and soften the fabric but I'm obsessed with this I think it would be so cute over a bathing suit on vacation or paired like this with some sneakers or just to wear around the house there's so many different ways to wear this you could also button it up and kind of front tuck it a little bit I just think it's super cute came in multiple colors and I love the fabric it's just like so cool Cool and comfortable to wear. This dress I think is absolutely stunning. If you have a wedding coming up this fall, I think this would be a beautiful choice as guest of wedding or also on vacation um, to wear out to dinner or something like that. It's a super lightweight fabric and I'm not wearing a bra, but you could definitely do sticky boobs, something like that. But I didn't feel like I needed it with the gathering and the floral print. So pretty though and super flattering. I just absolutely love this color combo and the little detail in the back and the cutouts. So much detail that make it look more expensive. This next dress I just thought was very cute and different. I wasn't sure if I was gonna love it in person, but I did and I like the fabric where it fell on my leg. I feel like it's perfect and I like just the asymmetrical color block, kind of funky vibe that it gives off. Very comfortable, easy to wear, and I just thought it would be a fun piece to kind of have in your closet. I believe this did come in another color. I don't remember, but yeah, very fun and cute and a great transitional piece because I think it would be super cute with little white booties as well moving into fall, maybe a little hat adorable speaking of fall i feel like this dress would be so perfect for the transitional season this is so comfy soft i have it off the shoulder you can also just wear it as a v-neck but i love that it comes with this little matching belt it's super flattering it is a bit shorter so i feel like if you are kind of hippie or have a big bum something that it's kind of going to get like hung up on maybe pair it with leggings or tights would be super cute i was able to get away with it without because it was kind of loose enough and it fell i don't know mid to high thigh but it would be cute to wear out again and just super comfy cozy i think with leggings and sneakers it could be really cute too and then lastly i have this beautiful dress the fabric of this feels so expensive it has a lot of like flow to it and it's super soft it's not see-through or thin at all it comes with this adorable belt to really bring in the waist and i just love the exaggerated sleeves great for work if you wanted to pair it with tights and little dress shoes but also cute for casual wear as well with some booties and a hat super cute i just love this one Alright guys, that is absolutely it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I always go like this. It's so annoying. I can see myself doing it. I can feel myself doing it. And I feel like I can't stop. Um, I'm like hanging onto the bench. I just, I don't know what to do with my hands. Are you a hand talker? Because I am. And so is Kyle. So when we're talking, we're like, we sometimes look like we're arguing and we're just like having a normal conversation. Anyway, thank you again. Here we go again. Thank you again to Shein for partnering with me on today's video. And I love you guys all so much. I hope you're doing well. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long. It hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. As you fade away. Yeah. Fade away.